Every year, the Pantone Color Institute announces the color of the year as a trend-setting concept that influences us in lots of ways, from the clothes we wear, to the beauty products we use, to the way we decorate our homes. And this year, they actually had two colors take the top spot. Looks like even Pantone shook things up in 2020. So, check it out. The winners are Ultimate Gray, a neutral that goes back to basics, and Illuminating, a lemony yellow that evokes basically the hope of a brighter 2020. Yeah, yeah. I love yellow. It also happens to be the signature color of our show, so that's lucky. Yeah, yeah right, that worked out well. Okay, so now we're gonna show you some ways to incorporate these colors into your living space. Check them out. Oh, Dougie, you're a whole other Pantone color. Um, okay, well, Dougie is representing the throw pillow because that's a fantastic way to have a neutral chair but get a quick pop of color so that it doesn't override the room. This pillow and pillowcases actually is like Amazon for about 1998. So that's a fantastic way to get a little moment. All right, this rug I really like because let's face it, a colorful rug, as fabulous as it may be, life, weather, kids, dogs, it's gonna get dirty immediately. So I really like this gray. Um, it's also a really nice sort of like coarse sisal fabric. It's a decent size. We got it on Ikea for $100. And gray is just good on the floor. Now, one thing that Sarah and I, uh, we do these segments together. Um, she's a designer. She's my partner in crime. She brought up a fantastic point, which is the scale of art. When you get a bigger piece, it just looks more expensive. It just looks more luxe. The more diminutive, um, it doesn't really necessarily mean a price, but big is big. And in this case, I think it really shows nicely. And we got this at Home Goods for $59. So yellow, white, and gray paint, we went with a light gray here because I think I felt like, and she did too, white was too stark. This light gray really brings it all together and doesn't have sort of another color entering the picture. I always think pops of black. It's not the way I used to design, but something about as I get older, pops of black are just androgynous, neutral, and chic unto themselves. And um, I love these colors because I do think gray is a very safe tone. Gosh, I'm wearing it on my pants. Um, but I think that the yellow really is something that evokes mood. And I think that's why we gravitated towards it on the show, because we like the sunny side upness of life. And clearly Pantone picked something that I think just, we want colors to make us feel something. I also work with Anna and Francesca on all our flower brands. And Anna always says color changes everything, and it does. I will look at something, it'll be a certain color, I'm like, I don't think I like it. We'll change the color and I'll be like, I love it. Color has such a profound effect on our psyches, our moods, and our life. It can also make things look bigger and smaller. So really, the possibilities with color are absolutely endless. Um, I really like this room. We were able to put it together very affordably. There's companies that have an average can of paint for $10. Paint is something everybody feels like a real commitment to. I say play. Paint big swatches, not small. Also look at them at night and in the day. They're gonna be very different. And just play. You can always paint over it. It's not wallpaper, it's not molding. Go for it, express yourself. And also, for something like this, a chair, a table lamp, I like to go on overstock.com. They have a fabulous amount of options with really decent prices. So here's our representation of the two Pantone colors of the year in your home and in your life.